Well, good morning. I want to welcome you to Live with Lynn today. And today I'm going to go off on a whole different subject. So today I'm going to talk about how a traveling book salesman in the 1800s changed the course of skincare forever. Um, I don't know if you've heard the story of Avon, but it's actually a pretty amazing story. So it was the 1800s. I mean, think Little House in the Prairie days. Do you remember that show? This is exactly the time frame, Little House in the Prairie. And um, there was a man named David H. McConnell. He was a traveling book salesman. And he was pretty innovative. He, he had come up with some pretty amazing ideas. And so he would, he would go door to door selling books. And he made up these perfume samples. He just made them up that he would give out with the books to entice women to buy his books. And, you know, he, before long, he started noticing that the women loved the perfume samples more than they loved the books. And, you know, he, <laughs> he was a smart man. And so he says, oh, well, maybe I need to uh, be selling perfume. This is where the market is. Look, these women are going crazy over it. And so he started the company, California Perfume Company. I have no idea why he named it California since he was in New York City. But, but California Perfume Company started, and it was um, – 1886, and, and David H. McConnell felt that women were a vastly undertapped resource. I mean, he saw them as, you know, I mean, think about it. Back then, there was nothing for women. Um, if a woman held a job, maybe there was an occasional teacher, right? But mostly they were maids and housekeepers, and and um, maybe they worked in a store, the few stores there were. But but um, there just wasn't a lot of, lot happening for women back then. And he saw the potential for women, both as customers and as workers. And so it was 1886 when he hired Mrs. P.F.E. Albee. And she became the very first representative for this California perfume company. And he gave her the ability to start her own business. And so she quickly recruited a whole team of housewives from all over all the different communities around the area. And um, and then David would ship these products to them, and they would sell in their areas. Kind of sounds like the Avon lady in the fifties, right? <laughs> so that's kind of how it was. And then um, and then they kept growing. And then Mrs. P.F.E. Albee became the first traveling Avon sales representative. And so she carried a little suitcase, and she went on the train and the stagecoach. You remember this is this is Little House in the Prairie times. I mean, this is just amazing. This is 50 years before women could even vote. He gave her the opportunity to build a business and build a sales team, and and create earnings opportunities for women. And um, so their very first product line was a perfume called Little Dot Perfume. Um, but then it quickly expanded, the product line quickly expanded to other perfumes and then makeup and bath products. In 1896, the first skincare product was Witch Hazel. And I'm sure you're all familiar with that. That was our first skincare product. And then um, in 1928, um, David visited a town called Avon, Avon in Europe, I guess. And he fell in love with the town. And so he started branding the products under the Avon name. And um, and in nineteen or in a couple of years later, the the name um, the company name changed to Avon. But but so he this man was a visionary, I and mean, it's pretty amazing what he did. You know, he gives women a right, the ability to create their own income, to be self sufficient, to to use their their talents and abilities that back then people didn't even acknowledge. And he, and he allowed them to start their own business. He allowed them to recruit other representatives to work with them. Um, and he kind of started the direct sales business model in a way in the 1800s. And so um, Avon continued to grow and flourish. Eventually he died, his son took over, but the, and you know, eventually it became a, a big company, public company and all that. But you know, Avon has been cutting edge. Um, in 1990, we were the very first company to bring alpha hydroxy acid technology to the mass market. Before that, it was only available in doctor's offices. And now Avon had a way to put it in products and make it work. And so that was our Anu skincare. That was in 1990 when Avon Anu skincare products lines or the treatments were announced. And, and launched. And then we were the first to bring retinol in a way that could be used in a skincare line and, and many, many, many cutting edge technologies. So, you know, the story about Avon is pretty powerful, really, when you think about it. I mean, I, I'm really proud to be associated with a company like that because 
look at what he's done for women. And I mean, back then when women weren't even considered, they, you know, they didn't have rights. They didn't have abilities. They couldn't even vote. Um, they couldn't work jobs. They sure couldn't be heads of household or whatever. I mean, women, women were just wives, I guess, wives and mothers. And so we've come a long way and Avon's been a big part of that. So anyway, that's my story, and I hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for being with me today, and I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day.